Hey everybody, David here. I am the CEO and the co-founder of the Weird Homes Tour. Today I'm going to give you a little tour of how to make this demon gravestone. So, showing you some of the materials here. Uh, this SD card is for the video. Um, we're going to put a little green LED light powered by a 9 volt battery. I'll put that down in the description. And you're going to need a VGA to HDMI cable, or maybe you buy yourself an HDMI monitor. And we're going to talk about what that monitor does later. And I love this Mika uh, video player. Uh, it does a great job and holds up really well. And of course, we're going to decorate our gravestone with some of this rust. Um, and as you saw, I've got a mask uh, and a lighter there as well. We're going to do some work with some fire. The other big thing you're going to need for this video gravestone uh, is a monitor. So I love this old Lenovo. I got it Goodwill. It's in pretty good shape. I got it for pretty cheap. Uh, it is VGA, not HDMI. But more importantly, this thing flips. Um, so it goes from vertical to landscape, 4x3 to kind of a, a, a vertical 16x9. So love this thing. Nice and easy to use. Uh, and again, uh, make sure you have that HDMI to VGA converter. So what I'm going to show you guys next here uh, is this Mika player that I really dig. This is actually going to play the video file that shows you the demon's eyeball, which I got from our friends at Atmos FX. Um, so again, you can go to AtmosFX.com uh, and download uh, some great demon eyes, uh, some creature eyes, other things, and really make this prop your own. Um, so this Mika is great, easy to plug in. It is HDMI, so I needed that converter. It reads the video files right off that SD card. And it actually has a pretty easy to use interface. I also use this for my ghost projections and my zombie projections on my windows at Halloween as well. Um, and maybe I'll do another video on that as well. So I downloaded a couple things to try them out. You can see previews on the website. Um, you could have a kind of creepy looking human eye. Uh, wandering through your gravestone, uh, or you could use one of these goblin eyes, and I, I really love the goblin eyes. Here you're going to see two eyes. If you wanted to, you could cut a large hole across the middle of the gravestone and have these two eyes poking out. Not a big fan of that. Uh, kind of probably hard to see from the street or wherever your graveyard might be. So I instead went with these kind of double uh, uh, Sorry, I went with this single demon eye that you see here. It's big, it's easy to see, it's blinking, it's kind of constantly moving. Very easy to set up behind your gravestone when you rotate the screen as I did here. And you can control it from your house uh, with this remote. Uh, it has a pretty good range on it as well, which is really nice. So the next thing we're going to do uh, is take out that tape measure and measure where this eyeball goes. Because now we're going to take our gravestone and actually make a hole. And if you want to punch this out, if you want to cut it out using an X-Acto knife, I had some fun here actually burning the hole uh, in the foam. You can also use a foam wire cutter uh, as well. Make sure you have water. I wet this napkin down to kind of put out that fire. And just kind of experiment. Keep burning that hole and measuring it till you have something big enough to actually show what's going on the monitor uh, behind that hole. So I think you'll see here that, uh, you know, we're just going to kind of keep experimenting, keep burning it, uh, making sure it's big enough to actually work. Um, and remember, be safe. You are working with fire. You are working with hot objects uh, as well. So what you have here is I've finished the gravestone. Um, uh, I've got a, a different gravestone that I really love, did the same thing, and I have a much wider hole to be able to show that video from the other side. So this is the fun part. Um, take your spray paint, uh, black, some green, some brown, really get creative. Do whatever you think works best for your gravestone. I really love this one. I know I burnt through the message on the front, but I, I think that actually looks great. And I even added some extra holes you see towards the top there, um, just to give it a kind of beat up old gravestone look. Uh, I love the clear demon on this um, because you can actually put a light behind that as well. So this is what it looks like inside. I've got some of my friends helping me on the left and the right. Um, this is full light on. I haven't added the light inside the gravestone. Um, this is just the gravestone in front of the monitor.
now what we've done is pull out the crappy lights that came with this gravestone and I've actually just put in a really bright nice 9 volt power green LED again I'll put that down in the description if you guys want to go pick up your own version of that um, you can hot glue gun this in you can tape it in um, I'm eventually gonna put some hot glue and glue this in because I'll use this year after year but for the time being, I just taped it in uh, and adjusted it. And now here's the full reveal. This is what it looks like in our graveyard at night. And you can see this thing all the way from the street. I love it. I could probably have two or three of these if I wanted. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks everybody for joining and, and look for more from us and the Weird Homes Tour.